craft to do. Um, it's a short one. It shouldn't take too long. And uh, all we need, we will need a rod. And this rod will be at 28 inches to 48 inches. It's a tension rod. Hopefully you can see that. I already took it out because I wanted to make sure it was going to fit and work way out what I want it for. You will need a chalkboard um, pen and it's white. And then you will need, I already opened these up, um, these little chalkboards. Now you don't need these ones. You could use the bigger ones on this, this and you could glue this onto these if you want. And you're going to need these buckets. I got these at Dollar Tree. <coughs> the only thing I didn't get from Dollar Tree is this. And I bought some hooks. You're going to need the hooks. I got these at Walmart, these two. And you'll need these. I bought two packs of these to make sure I had enough. And that's all you'll need for this project. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. <coughs> of course, I start coughing, so I'm going to be right back. I need it to get me a drink. So what we're going to do is that I have medicine that I have to take. So it's sitting on the counter, as I'll show you, and it's in the way. It's a pain in the butt. Now, to put it in the bathroom, you're really not supposed to put your pills in the bathroom uh, from the humidity. And um, so I like to have mine in the kitchen because I have to drink water with it. I have to eat before for one of the pills and then I have to take one before I eat so I like to have them in the kitchen <clears throat> also this idea is for other things too as I will show you so what we're going to do because I got this I'm going to show you what I, where it's going to go so I'm going to show you so we're going to come over here and what I'm going to do hopefully you can see we are going to put the rod up here. Hopefully. So what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of point you up a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to put a rod across, all the way across here, underneath this cabinet. And we will show you what's going to go after that. But before we do that, we have to do the hooks and make sure the hooks are going to be okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring you back here, sorry. And there we go. Hopefully you can see. And so you want to get these hooks. And what you do, if I don't drop them, let's open them up and see how well this is going to work. Now I'm going to use three on each arm of these. Okay, now you can decorate these if you want, um, you know, if you want to put some twine around it. I was thinking about that. I might do it later. I don't know. I haven't made my decision on it because my kitchen's white, you know, and these are white. <clears throat> so I thought it would be cool and uh, a little handy. And so what you're going to do is attach two of these onto each other. Let me... So I see what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. Okay, so they just lock, lock in together. So, and then you can take this one and you're going to lock another one. Now you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. That's up to you. I think three is going to be fine. And then you lock these just like so, like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on here, on my bucket. Can you see? No, you can't. So let me bring you down some more. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have these three like that, okay, we're going to take the last one and we're going to put it on this side of your bucket which is not easy to do because they have like a spring on them so you just widen it there we go I got it no problem and then you lock it again and you're going to do it on the other side 
Okay, so I'm going to do three on the same so it balances it out. Now, very simple. <clears throat> this is kind of for organization, more than crafting. Um, I'm always looking for organization stuff because, you know, you need it, right? And I definitely need it. So, there we go. And I saw this. And I thought, oh, this might be good for me to do and also make a video. But I thought it was cute, too. So, so there you go. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to hang it across your rod, just like so. See? And there's your rod. And we're going to do three of these. Okay? So I'm going to make three of these, and then I'll show you all three after I do my hooks on that. And then we'll, we'll continue. Okay, guys, so I got all three done, as you can see. I have put these on here. I needed two packs, so um, if you're only going to do two, one pack would be enough. But because I had three of these buckets, I've had them for a while, and I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to use these, you know, I can use these. So, and there you go, there's, there's three. So, just to show you. Okay, so, I had a problem because I had bought these, but I had the bigger ones, and I bought them at Dollar Tree, with the, I had the pen, and I bought them, and I, can't find them. So, I don't know what happened to them. So, the other day, I was at Dollar Tree, and I decided they only had these. So, I had to get the smaller ones. They do have a clip on it. Now, I was going to take the clip off, and I was going to crazy glue it. I mean, glue gun it. Hot glue gun it. Crazy glue. That crazy glue thing again. And I was going to put them and label them here. But I decided I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to clip them because I can change them out if I want the bigger ones later. And probably if I can go and get the bigger ones, I will. I tried to get them at Dollar Tree because I had to run to Dollar Tree to get this so I could do this project. Uh, I mean, Dollar General. So I got this at Dollar General so I can label them with this. And they didn't have the bigger boards. What are you doing? Shea Bear's walking by me. So, anyway, so, um, that is what I might do later on. So, I did, so, that way I can get the bigger ones. Because I think the bigger ones might be better in the long run. Um, you know, this is pretty small for this kind of project, but it'll be alright. So, um, I'm going to put up the rod, and we'll, we'll go from there. So now, what do you got to do? I gotta string these through first and then put the rod up. So you wanna, whatever way you wanna face them, that's up to you. And how far down you want them, that is up to you too. I mean, it depends on how many you want. You want to go right across, you, yeah, you know, and um, you'll have to measure underneath your counters and see what kind of rod you need. I needed this one because that's a long cupboard underneath there. So I got this here, and I know it's a little noisy, sorry, grabbing these. And I'm going to put these through here, just like so. And I got one more here. <coughs> and you're going to have to put these on first before you put the rod because then you won't be able to. But you could. You could do it the other way if you wanted to because um, you could do it through the clip and then clip them. But this way would be a little easier. And there we go. So that's the way it's going to look. I'm going to spread it apart a little bit. And if I want another one, I can add another one to it. If I don't think I need the other one, I can just leave two on there. Now, you're not going to see this rod because it's going to be underneath the cabinet. So, I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to take you over where the cabinet is and we'll put this up. Okay, guys. So, now 
I got you underneath here. I'm going to put the rod up here to all the way down there. And the buckets will hang. Now, if it becomes too long, I might have to take a couple of those hooks off to make it a little bit better. But you have to adjust it the way you want it. So, and what you think is best for your counter in your space. So, I got everything in the way for the movement. That's okay. And this is a twisties. So what I'm doing, I'm going to twist it. Let me get this out of the way. Getting caught. Alright, so I'm just gonna twist it as far as I can. Because this one is as long as it will be. So, as you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see that. Yep. And go all the way across. When you're bringing it almost all the way out, like it, it yeah. and then it'll stay just like so. As you can see, let me see. See, there it is. Okay, and I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And there's my buckets. And what I'll do, I'll spread them to where I want them. As you can see. There. And then they kind of sit against the wall. So they're not going to... Oops. I pulled on it too hard. And um, too jiggly. So yeah, you can't put them in between that thing. So I have to kind of... Ay, ay, ay. Hold on just a minute. there I had to play with it a little bit because of this right here it kind of bends it a little bit but um that was the longest one I could get it depends on how long your cabinet thing is underneath and I could have done it over here and I may change it later it might be better over here but I have the coffee pot here and, and that but they could hang there maybe but anyway so there you go I got my things here. Let me see. And you can see all three of them. There you go. I'll bring you out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There. So this is that's just for the toaster. And what you're gonna do now, I have these little things here. So I'm going to write on this one. So let me get my pen and we'll write on here. This one's got tape on it still. They were, they were three for a dollar at, at Dollar Tree. So, and like I said, you could decorate these if you want. You could put the the twine around them and make them a little bit prettier instead of just white plastic, which I might do. You know, um, yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm getting my pen here, and of course they have these containers that you can't open because they want you to look at it and not open it I guess. There we go. Okay so I have my medicine here as you see okay and I'm going to put them in here. That way I have all my meds together in one little neat place and I don't have to lick them on my counter because they sit there on my counter now. I'm not using that pen right now. In fact, I got a very good review. Um, but I use it just in case. But, um, yeah. And then I have Bruno has his meds. And I can put Bruno his meds in here. And I could put whatever handy for Bruno in that one. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring you down a little bit so you can see. see this little thing okay and I'm gonna write meds on here meds maybe I've never used one of these hopefully it works should well it's supposed to 
Here we go, last one. Writes on glass, paper, wood, and more. Shake well. Oh, I gotta shake it. Shake well with cap on. Twist and pull to remove cap. Depress tip several times until color flips. Okay. So let's get it here. Oof. All right, it's dried up. I don't know. We'll see. looks a little handy. Now, some people put oatmeal in them, you know, the packet of oatmeal because they get it out at breakfast time and they don't want to have to get it in the cupboards or something. Something handy. It's quick and easy. Um, it helps them in the morning and uh, get ready and go kind of thing. Now, let's see if it'll work now. Okay, so we're going to write meds on this little doodad here if I can get it to work. Nope. I think it's dried up. It's coming. It's just, it's taking a little bit. And let me shake some more. We'll get it shake, shake, shake. Now, I, I'd like to, I wish I could use this for my mom's medicine because it's on my table and I get tired of looking at it. And then that way I could contain them all in one. But she's got a lot of them and she's using those packets. So she's not using bottles. So it's they're not going to fit in there. So. But at least that gets mine off the counter. It makes it look a little nicer. And you can put all kinds of stuff. I was thinking I might put pens in, in, in one because I'm always missing a pen and need one. and Or, you know, little notepads in there or something like that. Let's see if it will go anymore. Mm. It doesn't say to... Uh, it's coming. It's coming. It's just got to really shake it. My goodness. Okay. Ugh, I've never really used these. I use the other ones. Not this one. Oh, my arm's going to break off. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Almost. A few more times. You see, it's coming out, finally. It was the last one, so it's probably sitting there for too long. There we go. See, your tip is wiped down. And so I'm going to write meds on here. Yeah, it works. And you can do what you want. Make it nice and neat. Yeah. And like that. And then what I'm going to do... I'm just going to clip it. And I'll show you just a sec. And that way I know my meds are right here. And I don't have to go laundering. And I don't have to have them on my counter. See? That looks cute. Then I'll put, I'll put Bruno's meds here. That's what I'll do. He uh, has an allergy pill. And then he has... Um, he gets a flea pill. So, but the flea pill, I give it to him as soon as I get it. So, I don't really need it for that. But for, we'll put Bruno. Meds. So if he ever gets anything else or anything for ear infections or whatever, I can put him in there. There you go. So that's right. I'll let you see. There's Bruno's meds. And this one I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet. But I'll put a little thing on there when I figure it out. I'll, I'll label it. And then if I'm not here and they have to give Bruno his pill or something, they'll know where his stuff is, and it'll be right here. And I'm going to put that just on there for now, because I'm going to oh no, well that was a fail, isn't it? Oh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, 
so that's the way it's going to be and you can put whatever you want in them and uh yeah i like it i think it's cute and uh handy for anything that's fast you can't put anything too heavy in them i wouldn't i uh, just put your light stuff in there yeah, you know your oatmeal and maybe pens notepads if you want to keep them handy you know stuff like that um you know so you make it your own and do what you want you can also de decorate these you can buy the bigger ones and put here and just put um hot glue gun use it and just put them there and then you'll have a bigger one um when i find them i might i might change these out later on and see how well this works for now so what do you think you like kind of good idea mm -hmm. yeah because then i mean it's always sitting on the counter so you know you get tired of things being on the counter so Anyways, that concludes that project for now. And, um, yeah. So, then it's out of the way. Looks good. I think it's cute. And you can, I can add another one if I want, but I don't think I need to. And you could just have two if you want. It depends on your counter and how much you have for cabinet space, too. So, cute. Yeah, and that's it for now, y'all. So, Monkey says she's out for now, and I hope you liked the video, and we all have another one video coming up soon, and we are going away soon, aren't we, babe? Yep. Where are we going? St. Augustine. Yeah. We're going to the lighthouse. Yeah. But it's at night. It's at night, yeah. yeah. Well, we're taking a tour. Right. I mean, we're, we didn't get, get it for the whole night to ourselves. No. We can't no. afford that. No. no. No, they want a lot, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to take the nighttime tour. We're going to take Bruno, and we're tenting by the beach. Mm -hmm. So it should be at least a nice little little getaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of exciting because that lighthouse is very haunted. Yep. And we will tell you that when we get there. Yep. Okay. So we got stuff coming up, so keep staying tuned and... Watch Shaber 1000 too. He's got always got a video coming up. And I'm going to say I'm out for now. Say bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Mike says she's out for now. Bye, y'all.